If you fish in certain areas of the UK and use this piece of fishing tackle, you could be fined up to £50,000. I spoke to the Environment Agency about the OMC Magic Twig, and later in this video I'll tell you exactly what they said about it. I'll also explain why using the Magic Twig will land you with a whopping £50,000 fine. But first, let's just summarise why this product has been one of the most controversial and contentious pieces of fishing tackle launched in recent years. You see, carp fishing has come on leaps and bounds in the last 30 years, and fish care, for many, is now the priority. The invention of the lead clip by Kevin Nash in 1992 was seen as a pivotal advancement in carp rigs. As Kevin explains in this next video, the lead clip was essentially designed to solve the problem that the magic twig is reintroducing. A lot of anglers are just um, using link clips to clip the lead onto the swivel uh, quickly, uh, uh, we realised that that was a, a death rig, and so you know, everyone was looking for you know, solutions to make a safe bolt rig. And so one of the first things I, I come up with was um, what we called a bolt bead. Um, it was a it was a bead. It was like T shaped. It had a lug on one end, and then a piece coming down the middle with a hole in it to fix the lead through a link clip, and then another lug on the other. So the lug on the left, you put a little bit of tube over that, and slip that over the swivel. Uh, so if fish got uh, tethered, it just pull the lead off and slide up the line. The lug on the right was if you was going to use anti-tangle tube. Uh, so you slid the anti-tangle tube up there and it worked on the principle that if your line was cut, if a fish was snagged and your line cut, the lead would just uh, slide up the line and fall off. First major advancement in fish safety, I think. Essentially what I developed there was um, an early version of the, what's now referred to as a lead clip. A mass product, we're very proud of it. So these days most of us use the lead clip when carp fishing. And it's fair to say, most of us would be shocked if an experienced angler rammed the tail rubber onto a dry lead clip. As Carpology says, the key with all lead clip arrangements is the safety aspect. If you aren't using one so that you can eject the lead when it comes into contact with snags, weed, or other obstructions, why use one at all? So that's the background. And hopefully that helps some of you understand why many anglers are so upset about the launch of the Magic Twig. In short, it seems to fly in the face of decades of fish safety developments. You see, the Magic Twig is a fixed rig. It can't run off the line in a snap-up like a running leg setup could, and it can't eject itself like a lead on a well-set-up lead clip. Even something like a chod rig that is often attached to a fixed lead, should be set up so that the bead that holds the hook length in place can slip off the end of the line, releasing the fish from towing around the lead. But the magic twig, well, that's just fixed to the line. Meaning that if there was a snap up above the lead clip, this is what a fish would be towing around behind them. And if you want to see the consequences this could have for a tethered fish, then at the end of this video, I'll pop up a link to another video that I've made. But before you go and watch that, let's find out what the Environment Agency think of the magic twig. On the 25th of August, 2023, a spokesperson from the Environment Agency said to me, we are aware of a new product on the market that is advertised as a self-triggering hooking device. We are considering the risks such devices may pose to fish stocks, and we will work with fisheries to make a decision as to whether any additional regulatory control is required. They also provided me with this background briefing. Number one, the use of any device designed to hook a fish automatically is prohibited in angling bylaws for the Thames catchment. Number two, fisheries and clubs are free to allow or prohibit this product on their waters as they see fit. And when pushed to clarify whether the magic twig was banned in any catchment areas in the UK, they simply said, it is prohibited in the Thames catchment. So to be clear, this is the Thames catchment area. And the maximum fine for disobeying these rules? Yep, you guessed it, 
£50,000. But that doesn't mean that you can't use the rig in the Thames catchment area. If you're fishing a private water, say a club lake or a day ticket venue, and they allow the use of the twig, then, as the EA explains in their background information, you can use it. But given what I've outlined in this video, and the years of development that have gone into progressing the safety of fishing, maybe you'll want to think carefully before deciding to tie this to your line.